Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Sorry I couldn't do a live live, uh, not live live, but you know, regular, because uh, the dogs and the cats and Emily getting ready for work, it was way too much. So um, this is a beginner's art journal page and it means very limited supplies and, you know, just a lot of fun to do. All I have is my art journal and I'm going to throw down three different colors of green. I'm going to do a darker green and a lighter green and even a lighter green. Uh, the colors I use are happy green, uh, hauser green, and the other one is citrus green. Those are the three that I put down just with a regular paintbrush. You see I'm not having any you know, I wanted the darker ones where I kind of put them, but I'm not worried about them not being all over the page or good or anything like that. You'll see um, I wet my brush and I'm just going to wipe it with a rag, uh, with one of my art rags. And like I said, very limited. You can just do one color background. You don't have to do uh, anything in particular. And it's just easy and fun. And I just have my art uh, rag and I'm just wiping it to give it like a, I don't know, kind of blended, but you know, I don't know, soften the look. Uh, and I like the way it came out. It's not going to bother me at all. So now I'm just going to take some white and bubble wrap, which most of us have around. If you don't have bubble wrap, use your art rag <laughs> and just dip it in. Um, and I'm just randomly putting it on there. It came off a little whiter than I wanted it when I, I should have like put it off on my another paper and then did it. But I mean, you work with it. You do what you got to do. My lighting is weird today. It's very sunny outside. It's windy. The trees are making it shadowy and it's just one of them days. So sorry. So yeah, so I'm just drying it real quick. You don't have to, if you don't have a hair dryer or a heat gun, um, leave it dry. Literally it, it, listen to one song and it'll be dry. It's acrylic paint dries very fast. And I have scrap of paper that I had sitting here that I didn't know what to do with. And I thought, you know what, let's play and do something easy. A lot of us have just paper sitting around. You don't have to use scrap of paper, but maybe you have a piece that you're just not digging. Um, or a piece of printer paper will work. It doesn't matter. Squish it up. If you have, if you're using a piece of paper that ha doesn't have any color on it, just throw a, sl a slab of paint down. Put If we're doing, you know, you could do orange, you could do blue, you could do whatever color you want. Paint it and um, I'm trying to fix the lighting because it was driving me nuts. Uh, paint it whatever color you want and then cut out the hearts and then wet it, squish it, squish it while it's wet. Now I'm just taking some magenta from Folk Art and whatever colors you want to use, you use. Now I'm using the opposite side of the scrapbook page. Um, I honestly forgot that it had another side. So when I turned it over, I was like, oh, okay, a little bit of interest. I cut out three different sizes of the hearts. So I'm using the biggest one on the bottom and I have a brad, you know, uh, you can use whatever, you could just glue them, it doesn't matter. Um, and I just want to get up some of the texture that when I squished it, you know, pick up a little bit of the texture. Um, also those lines that are on the page itself uh, add some texture. I don't know if you'll be able, how well you'll be able to see it at the end, but I, I really dug it. So that's all I'm doing there. And that'll go there. And now onto the next one. And I'm squishing that one. And I'm going to use the pink side on that. I'm a little congested. I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, so I thought, oh, let me see if I can get any more of this up. And I couldn't. So um, when I tried to take it off, it was too much. It, it didn't do exactly what I wanted. But you know what? I just went with it. And I was like, okay. We're just going to go with it. And after, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, Kel, you should have used the magenta on like the top, top one um, of the bubble wrap because it just would have pulled a little bit more in, but I didn't. And it was okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I'm using a little bit of the Hauser green and then I will wipe it off just so it's not, first of all, so it dries a little faster. And second of all, I want these to be grungy. And third of all, um, I don't know, just so it dries faster. <laughs> so 
So I did that. And then I did the same thing with the little one, except I did go in with magenta and I used that blue, the printed side. Now, you'll see when I'm done here, uh, these hearts are grungy. And there's a reason why I did it grungy. Um, so I took a little bit of yellow and I kind of mixed it on there a little bit. Um, and I had a little bit of green left on my brush. So I like the color that it came up and I just am drying it real quick. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Squishing it again. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the magenta on my finger and just kind of put it around, pick up some of the texture, you know, same gig. You do whatever you want to do. A little bit of white. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with it. So just drawing it real quick, just for a little bit of, uh, quickness on these. Now you can see I'm sticking the brad through. I should have just, um, taken, you know, my little pokey thing or a pin or something to stick it through all of them. Um, it did work fine, but it was a little bit more, um, fidgety than I wanted it to be, especially going through the art journal page, um, which I ended up using a pair of scissors. <laughs> So I love the pink and the green and then like the little bit of white. Now, um, like I said, I'll, I'll use a little bit of scissors. I tried to go through with it and I couldn't even uh, do it. And then I was like, why didn't you look to see what was on the other page? I could have done a different page, but I'll just put uh, something on her <laughs> to put on. So um, now I'm going to help Emily get ready to walk out the door with all the animals and uh, her water and all. So anyway, um, <clears throat> what I do is I wanted the background and I wanted these hearts to be grungy because the theme of this is love yourself, be kind to yourself. Um, and so to me, the hearts being grungy and that kind of thing, not, not that they're not pretty because they're pretty to me, but... It's like, we're all, we all got a little grunge to us. We all got a little roughness to us. We all got a little like shkomomoma to us. You know what I mean? And, um, but still love yourself. It doesn't matter. You're still worthy. You're still pretty. You're still beautiful. You still match. You still, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, I wanted some of the hearts to stick out a little bit more. And so what I did was I took black and I just went around the hearts and the middle one, I did a little bit darker around which you'll see. And you can use a marker, you can use whatever color you want. Um, so I did that, so that one sticks out. And on the top one, I kind of went around a little bit and wiped it, I didn't do like fully around. And I like it, like I said, you see it a lot better. And you can see I'm wiping both of them. I almost took a piece of sandpaper or an emery board and kind of roughed up that those edges on all of these. As you'll see as I'm wiping, um, some of the black comes off. And then I just mush it all together, again, to give it a little bit more texture um, because I wanted it to be a little bit more, you know, yeah. And then you can move them whatever way you want. Sometimes I'm like that. I'm crooked. Uh, my one thing is go on me is going one way. The other way, is, things are going the other way. That's just how I sometimes, you know, you put two different shoes on. It's just the way life is. And then I'm just going and taking some of the magenta to go around the base heart. And I really, the base heart's my favorite. And it is because of the squishing it and because of the texture on the paper itself. I got to tell you, it's my favorite. Um, so yeah, so you can see. And then I just took my china. Oh, no, no, I didn't. That's right. I took some of these little stars. You can get these at your craft store or even a dollar store. They're just gold little stars I like to put on a lot of my art. And I just used my glue stick and I just stuck those bad boys down just to add a little bit of, you know, a little sparkle. I love sparkle. And, and I love, you know, if I would have remembered after the fact, I probably would have grabbed a little bit of glitter around the hearts. But so I added some hearts, be, I mean, some stars because I am a star and so are you. And we're just putting them on there and just for some little, you know, little shininess. We're shiny, happy people sometimes, right? Am I right? Okay. And then I took my China marker, which I love, writes over everything, but you can use acrylic paint, a pen, whatever. And I just put love yourself and a little heart at the bottom. 
and that's it. Um, so yeah, this is a great beginner page, very few items needed, and you know, it's just a nice reminder for yourself. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Share me everywhere. I appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.